अजय स्त्रोमनी गुरु कम्युनिटी वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड एडवांस एनालिसिस ऑन वेरियस कमोडिटीज आई एम नीना एंड टुडे ऑन द थर्टीथ ऑफ जनवरी 2024 वी डाइव इनटू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ कॉपर वेयर मार्केट्स आर होल्डिंग स्टेडी इन एंटिसिपेशन ऑफ अ क्रूशियल डिसीजन फ्रॉम द यूएस फेडरल रिजर्व बट बिफोर वी जंप इनटू दैट डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन सब्सक्राइब एंड रिंग द नोटिफिकेशन बेल टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद आर इनसाइटफुल कंटेंट Now let's get into it. On Tuesday, London copper prices exhibited subtle movements, maintaining a tight trading range. The three-month copper benchmark on the London Metal Exchange (LMI) saw a marginal 0.1% decline, settling at $8,549.50 per metric ton. Meanwhile, over at the Shanghai Futures Exchange (SHFE). The most actively traded March copper contract experienced a slight 0.1% increase, reaching 69,020 yuan (9,616.30) per ton. What's causing this cautious atmosphere? Well, all eyes are on the US Federal Reserve, which is set to make a pivotal interest rate decision later this week. Investors are closely monitoring the stability of the US dollar against major currencies. The big question on everyone's mind is not just about the current interest rate stance but also the signals coming from Fed Chair Jerome Powell regarding future rate movements. Powell's press conference on Wednesday is expected to be a critical event, providing hints about possible rate adjustments. But it's not just copper in the spotlight. In other metal trading, LME aluminum saw a 0.5% decrease, settling at $2,253.50 per ton. Nickel experienced a 0.7% drop to $16,325, while lead, tin, and zinc showed varied movements. The Shanghai Futures Exchange mirrored these trends, with notable declines in aluminum, nickel, and zinc. A point of interest here is the nickel market, which is poised for its sixth consecutive monthly fall on both LMI and SHFE platforms. This trend is primarily attributed to an ongoing supply surplus. and we'll be closely monitoring how the situation unfolds in the coming days but that's not all comex data revealed a significant increase in net short positions on copper reaching 30839 contracts by january 23rd this marks the highest since march 2020 during the early stages of the global coronavirus pandemic it's a crucial data point that adds an extra layer to the complexity of the current market dynamics so As we approach this critical juncture in the markets, stay tuned for our follow-up analyses as we break down the aftermath of the Federal Reserve's decision. If you found this update helpful, give us a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth insights. Until next time, this is Neena from Ajay Stromani Guru signing off.